By age 20, you should be old enough to realize this. 1. Life is 100% better when no one knows anything about you. Imagine life unbound by the weight of expectations, a world where your actions dance free from the judging gaze of others. Sounds liberating, doesn't it? While philosopher Immanuel Kant famously said, we are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without. Stoicism takes it a step further, suggesting that true wealth lies in what we can discover without. Think of your life as a bustling market, but unlike the curated stalls showcasing carefully preened personas, there exists a hidden corner, a haven of anonymity. Here, the pressure to impress evaporates, replaced by the freedom to peel back the layers and explore your authentic self. As Musonius Rufus, a key Stoic thinker, wisely noted, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. True richness comes from cultivating inner strength and contentment, not chasing external validation. Imagine learning a new language without the fear of butchering your pronunciation. Picture pursuing a seemingly uncool passion with the sole intention of embracing the joy of learning. Anonymity offers a safe haven for experimentation, self-discovery, and quiet growth. Remember, as Hierocles, another Stoic philosopher, said, external things are not the problem, it's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now. By removing the noise of external judgment, you can focus on what truly matters, aligning your actions with your values and nurturing your character. Now, anonymity isn't about retreating into an empty shell. We are social beings, and connections enrich our lives. But the Stoics encourage us to prioritize internal validation, to let our actions speak for themselves, and to find fulfillment in personal growth, rather than the fleeting applause of others. As Gaius Musonius Rufus said, Man is not worried by real problems, but by his imagined anxieties about real problems. So, let go of the anxieties about external approval and focus on nurturing your inner world. Think of it like shaping a piece of clay. Hidden from the scrutiny of others, it gets the time and space to be molded into its truest form. That's what anonymity allows. A fertile ground for your authentic self to blossom free from the pressure to conform. Ultimately, the strength and potential you cultivate in this hidden space will shine brighter than any spotlight, radiating true confidence and purpose when you choose to share it with the world. Remember, the Stoics weren't hermits, but active participants in their communities. But they understood that true fulfillment comes from aligning your life with your values, not the opinions of others. So, embrace the beauty of anonymity. Explore the depths of your being and discover the strength and potential that awaits you. This internal treasure, like a hidden gem, will radiate outwards with genuine authenticity. When the time comes, not out of obligation, but out of a deep understanding of who you truly are. Two, you're at peace with yourself when you mind your own business. Imagine a life free from the constant buzz of other people's lives, a tranquil space where your thoughts and actions are guided by your own compass. This, my friends, is the essence of minding your own business, a stoic principle championed by Baruch Spinoza, who said, Peace is not the absence of war. It is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition for benevolence, confidence, and justice. It's not about ignoring others, but about prioritizing your own inner journey towards peace. Think of your mind as a bustling marketplace. Gossipy whispers, unsolicited opinions, and the drama of others can easily drown out your own voice. Minding your own business, however, is like stepping into a serene garden where you can cultivate inner peace and clarity without the distractions of external noise. As Musonius Rufus, a prominent Stoic thinker, said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. 
True wealth lies in finding contentment within, not getting entangled in the affairs of others. Think of it like polishing a gem. Focusing your energy inward allows its true brilliance to shine. By minding your own business, you cultivate inner strength, resilience, and a sense of purpose that radiates outwards, attracting genuine connections and enriching your life in a meaningful way. Remember as Cleanthes, another Stoic thinker said, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself, which are external things not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. So embrace the peace that comes from focusing on your own journey. Pursue your passions, nurture your values, and cultivate inner strength. Remember, the world doesn't need another copy. It needs your authentic self, shining brightly from a place of inner peace and purpose. That's the true stoic way of minding your own business, and it might just be the key to unlocking a life filled with genuine fulfillment. Three, you shouldn't take advice from people who are not where you want to be in life. Imagine yourself standing at the entrance to a vast labyrinth, yearning to find your way, but wouldn't it be foolish to blindly follow someone who's still lost within? This, my friends, is the essence of the Stoic principle regarding seeking guidance, as captured in Voltaire's words, judge a man by his questions rather than his answers. Don't simply accept advice. Discern the wisdom journey of those offering it. Think of your life's path like a winding mountain trail. Seeking guidance from someone still struggling at the foot won't illuminate the summit. As Hierocles, a Stoic philosopher, wisely noted, external things are not the problem, it's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now. Don't let the noise of irrelevant advice cloud your vision. Seek mentors who have scaled similar peaks, whose questions and experiences resonate with your own aspirations. Imagine the confidence you gain when learning from someone who has successfully navigated the challenges you face. Their insights aren't just words, but a map forged in experience, guiding your steps with practical wisdom. Remember, as Cleanthes, another Stoic thinker, said, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are external things not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Choose mentors who can help you control your own path, not just react to external advice. Now, finding the right mentors isn't about blind hero worship. The Stoics valued rational inquiry and critical thinking. As Gaius Musonius Rufus said, man is not worried by real problems, but by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Don't let the allure of success cloud your judgment. Scrutinize your mentor's values, their actions, and their own guiding principles. Do their questions align with yours? Do their journeys offer valuable insights for your own? Think of it like choosing a climbing partner, someone who inspires you, challenges you, and shares your passion for the ascent. By choosing mentors wisely, you build a support network that empowers you, not just tells you what to do. Remember, as Baruch Spinoza, another Stoic thinker, said, Peace is not the absence of war. It is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition for benevolence, confidence, and justice. Seek guidance that fosters inner peace, not just outward success. So as you navigate your life's labyrinth, be mindful of who offers advice. Seek mentors who have walked similar paths, whose questions resonate with your own, and whose journeys inspire you to reach new heights. Remember, true guidance empowers you to think critically, make your own choices, and forge your own path to fulfillment, a principle the Stoics championed throughout their time. Choose wisely, and may your journey be filled with wisdom, clarity, 
and the quiet confidence that comes from learning from those who truly understand your aspirations. 4. Life doesn't wait for you to be ready. Get up every day and keep pushing through. Life, my friends, is a wild river, sometimes calm, sometimes churning with rapids. But unlike a leisurely cruise, we don't get to choose the perfect weather or calm the current. As Blaise Pascal, the philosopher, wisely said, In difficult times, carry something beautiful in your heart. It's not about waiting for the perfect moment to be ready, but about embracing the unpredictable ride with resilience and a spirit of adaptability. Think of your life like a hike through untamed terrain. The path might not always be clear and detours are inevitable. But instead of getting lost in the what-ifs, as Hierocles, a Stoic thinker, said, external things are not the problem. It's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now. Focus on what you can control, your attitude, your actions, and your ability to adapt. Remember, the beauty lies in the journey, not just the destination. Imagine the inner strength you cultivate by facing challenges head-on, by pushing through discomfort and embracing the unknown. Each obstacle overcome becomes a stepping stone, each unexpected turn a chance to learn and grow. As Cleanthes, another Stoic philosopher noted, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are external things not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Focus on your controllable choices and you'll find the strength to navigate any rapid. Now, embracing the unpredictable doesn't mean blind recklessness. As Gaius Musonius Rufus said, Man is not worried by real problems, but by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Don't let fear of the unknown paralyze you. Prepare, plan, and be mindful. But remember, life rarely unfolds according to plan. Embrace the unexpected as an opportunity to test your resilience and discover hidden strengths. Think of it like riding a wave. You anticipate its power, adjust your stance, and ride it with both respect and exhilaration. By adapting to life's ever-changing currents, you cultivate a sense of inner peace and confidence, knowing you can handle whatever comes your way. Remember, as Baruch Spinoza, another Stoic thinker, said, Peace is not the absence of war. It is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition for benevolence, confidence, and justice. Find your inner peace not in control, but in your ability to adapt and flow with life's ever-changing tides. So, as you embark on your life's journey, don't wait for the perfect moment. Embrace the present, push through challenges, and remember, the most beautiful stories are often written in the unexpected chapters. The Stoics remind us that true strength lies not in avoiding the rapids, but in navigating them with grace, resilience, and a spirit of adventure. So, grab your paddle, hold on to your beautiful thing, and enjoy the wild ride. 5. Master your emotions. A calm mind can handle any situation. Imagine life as a vast ocean, sometimes calm and serene, other times whipped into a frenzy by unexpected storms. But what if, amidst the chaos, you possessed a lighthouse within, guiding you through turbulent waters with unwavering composure. This, my friends, is the essence of mastering your emotions, a principle championed by Stoicism and beautifully captured in Confucius's words. When we see men of a contrary character, we should turn inwards and examine ourselves. True strength lies not in controlling external circumstances, but in cultivating inner peace through self-reflection and emotional mastery. Think of your emotions like powerful waves crashing against the shore. Unmanaged, they can overwhelm and pull you under, but through introspection and self-awareness, as Hierocles, a Stoic philosopher, emphasized, external things are not the problem, it's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now. 
You gain the power to observe your emotions without judgment, understanding their triggers and learning healthy ways to respond. Remember, the key to navigating storms lies not in stopping the waves, but in mastering your own ship. Imagine the inner strength you cultivate by facing your emotions head on, by understanding their roots and learning to manage their intensity. Each challenge overcome becomes a lesson in self-control. Each outburst mastered a step towards emotional serenity. As Cleanthes, another Stoic thinker noted, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself, which are external things not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Focus on what you can control, your reactions, your interpretations, and your choices, and watch your emotional resilience blossom. Now, mastering emotions isn't about suppressing them or becoming emotionless robots. As Gaius Musonius Rufus said, man is not worried by real problems, but by his imagined anxieties about real problems. It's about recognizing and acknowledging your emotions understanding their purpose and choosing healthy ways to express them. Imagine it like channeling the power of a river, not damming it, but directing its flow for constructive purposes. Think of it like a skilled surfer riding a wave. They anticipate its power, adjust their stance, and ride it with both respect and control. By developing emotional intelligence, you navigate life's challenges with grace and composure, unfazed by external storms. Remember, as Baruch Spinoza, another Stoic thinker, said, Peace is not the absence of war. It is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition for benevolence, confidence and justice. Find your inner peace not by controlling the world around you, but by mastering the emotions within. So embark on this journey of emotional mastery. Embrace self-reflection, practice mindfulness, and remember, the key to navigating life storms lies not in the absence of waves, but in the strength of your inner lighthouse, guiding you towards a calm and fulfilling journey. The Stoics remind us that true power lies not in controlling the world, but in mastering the emotions that control us. So, set sail with confidence, weather any storm with composure and discover the peace that awaits within. 6. To avoid disappointment, you need to take people for who they are, not for what you want them to be. Imagine holding a beautiful hand-blown glass vase. You cherish its unique imperfections, its one-of-a-kind shape and the way it refracts light. Now, imagine trying to squeeze it into a mold, expecting it to conform to something it's not. Disappointment, my friends, is inevitable. This, in essence, is the stoic principle of accepting people for who they are, not who you want them to be. Perfectly captured by Arthur Schopenhauer's words, we forfeit three-fourths of ourselves to be like other people. True fulfillment in relationships comes from embracing authenticity, both your own and that of others. Think of your relationships like a vibrant garden. Each person, like a unique flower, blossoms in their own way. Trying to force them into another form not only harms them, as Hierocles, a Stoic thinker, reminds us, external things are not the problem. It's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now but also diminishes the beauty and diversity of your garden. Focus on appreciating each individual's unique essence and watch your connections flourish. Imagine the freedom you cultivate by letting go of unrealistic expectations. You no longer waste energy trying to change others, freeing yourself to focus on genuine connection and acceptance. Each interaction becomes an opportunity to discover and appreciate the unique qualities that make them who they are. As Cleanthes, another Stoic philosopher noted, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself, which are external things not under my control, 
and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Focus on what you control, your own expectations and responses, and watch your relationships blossom with genuine understanding. Now, embracing authenticity doesn't mean ignoring harmful behavior. As Gaius Musonius Rufus said, man is not worried by real problems, but by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Address issues openly and honestly, but do so with respect for their unique personality and perspective. Remember, it's about accepting, not condoning. Think of it like nurturing a plant, providing sunlight, water and space to grow, but not trying to change its fundamental nature. By accepting people for who they are, you create fertile ground for genuine connection and mutual respect. Remember, as Baruch Spinoza, another Stoic thinker, said, Peace is not the absence of war, it is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition for benevolence, confidence and justice. True peace in relationships comes not from forcing conformity, but from embracing the beautiful diversity of the human experience. So, embark on this journey of authentic connection. Let go of expectations, honor individual uniqueness, and remember, the most fulfilling relationships are built on the foundation of genuine acceptance. The Stoics remind us that true happiness lies not in changing others, but in appreciating the unique beauty that each person brings to our lives. Embrace their genuine selves and watch your garden of connections bloom with vibrant authenticity. Seven, nobody cares. Work hard to get better every day. Imagine sculpting a magnificent statue, each chip of marble revealing the form within. The world might not see every stroke, every imperfection tackled, but the final masterpiece stands tall, a testament to your dedication. This, my friends, is the essence of the Stoic principle. Nobody cares, work hard anyway. As Immanuel Kant wisely said, we are not here to laugh, but to act seriously and fulfill a purpose. Forget external validation, focus on your inner forge and shape yourself into the best version you can be. Think of your life like a vast wilderness full of paths leading to different peaks. The noise of others might tempt you to follow their footsteps, but as Hierocles, a Stoic thinker, reminds us, external things are not the problem, it's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now. Focus on your own path, your own ascent. Embrace the quiet determination of shaping yourself, brick by brick, into someone who embodies your values and aspirations. Imagine the inner strength you cultivate by pursuing self-improvement with unwavering focus. Each challenge overcome, each weakness tackled, becomes a badge of honor, not for the world to see, but for your own sense of accomplishment. As Cleanthes, another Stoic philosopher noted, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself, which are external things not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Focus on what you can control, your effort, your discipline, your commitment, and watch your inner strength blossom. Now working hard doesn't mean neglecting the world. As Gaius Musonius Rufus said, man is not worried by real problems, but by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Engage with others, contribute meaningfully, but don't let external validation be your fuel. True fulfillment comes from the satisfaction of knowing you're living your truth, pursuing your goals with unwavering dedication. Think of it like a sculptor ignoring the applause of the crowd, their focus solely on the masterpiece taking shape. By prioritizing self-improvement for its own sake, you cultivate a quiet confidence that radiates outwards. Remember, as Baruch Spinoza, another Stoic thinker said, peace is not the absence of war, it is a virtue a state of mind, a disposition for benevolence, confidence, and justice. True peace comes not from seeking external approval, 
but from aligning your actions with your values and nurturing the best version of yourself. So embark on this journey of self-improvement. Let go of the need for validation. Embrace the quiet power of inner growth. And remember, the most fulfilling achievements are the ones that shape you into the person you were meant to be. The Stoics remind us that true happiness lies not in the applause, but in the dedication, the discipline, and the quiet satisfaction of knowing you've become the best version of yourself. So, step into your forge, chip away at your limitations, and sculpt the masterpiece within. 8. If you don't build your dreams, someone will hire you to help build theirs. Imagine standing at a crossroads, each path leading to a different city, one bustling and vibrant, another serene and hidden. The well-trodden path promises comfort and security, but the untamed one whispers of adventure and your own unique destination. This, my friends, is the essence of the stoic message. Pursue your own dream, not someone else's. As Arthur Schopenhauer wisely said, a man can be himself only so long as he is alone. True fulfillment lies not in building someone else's vision, but in charting your own course and carving your name on the map of your own dreams. Think of your life like a vast ocean. Countless ships sail its waters, some grand and imposing, others small and nimble. But the most fulfilling journey as Hierocles, a stoic thinker, reminds us, external things are not the problem, it's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now, is the one you navigate yourself, driven by your own compass and yearning for your own harbor. Don't let the allure of established roots tempt you away from the hidden cove holding your true treasure. Imagine the inner strength and resilience you cultivate by forging your own path. Each obstacle overcome, each detour navigated, becomes a testament to your unwavering spirit. As Cleanthes, another Stoic philosopher, noted, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are external things not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Focus on what you control, your choices, your actions, your determination, and watch your inner strength blossom like a sail billowing in the wind of your own dreams. Now, pursuing your own dream doesn't mean isolating yourself from the world. As Baruch Spinoza, another Stoic thinker, said, Peace is not the absence of war. It is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition for benevolence, confidence, and justice. Contribute to the world, collaborate with others, but don't let your own journey be dictated by someone else's vision. True peace comes from aligning your actions with your values, not becoming a cog in someone else's machine. Think of it like a skilled artist, choosing their own canvas, their own colors, their own unique story to tell. By embracing the pursuit of your own dream, you cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment that radiates outwards, inspiring others to chart their own courses as well. Remember, as Hierocles also said, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. True wealth lies not in the material rewards of another's dream, but in the deep satisfaction of building your own. So, embark on this journey of self-discovery. Embrace the challenges, the uncertainties, the exhilarating freedom of charting your own course. Remember, the most fulfilling life is not the one lived for someone else's applause, but the one painted with the vibrant colors of your own dreams and aspirations. The Stoics remind us that true happiness lies not in following the crowd, but in daring to be different, to carve your own path, and to leave your unique mark on the world. So set sail, navigate your own storms, and discover the true treasure that awaits you at the end of your own dream. 9. Free yourself from society's advice. Most of them have no idea of what they're doing. Imagine a vast flock of birds soaring together in a mesmerizing dance. 
While their coordinated movement might seem impressive, it's easy to forget each bird chose to join the flock. This, my friends, is the essence of the Stoic principle. Free yourself from society's advice and chart your own course. As Baruch Spinoza wisely said, I have striven not to laugh at human actions, not to weep at them, nor to hate them, but to understand them. True wisdom lies not in blindly following the flock, but in cultivating your own understanding and discernment, forging your path with open eyes and a questioning heart. Think of your life like a vast forest, filled with countless paths leading to different destinations. The well-worn trails might seem safe and familiar, but as Hierocles, a stoic thinker, reminds us, external things are not the problem. It's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now. Don't let the noise of the flock drown out your own inner compass. Embrace the quiet strength of independent thought and explore the hidden paths that might lead to your own unique clearing. Imagine the inner freedom you cultivate by questioning the status quo and seeking your own answers. Each challenge overcome, each truth discovered, becomes a stepping stone on your journey of self-discovery. As Cleanthes, another Stoic philosopher, noted, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are external things not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Focus on what you control, your thoughts, your actions, your pursuit of understanding, and watch your inner freedom blossom like a flower pushing through the forest floor. Now, questioning societal advice doesn't mean isolating yourself. As Baruch Spinoza also emphasized, peace is not the absence of war. It is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition for benevolence, confidence, and justice. Engage with the world, learn from others, but don't let their opinions dictate your every move. True peace comes from aligning your actions with your own values and beliefs, not blindly following the flock. Think of it like a skilled navigator, studying different maps, consulting with others, but ultimately charting their own course based on their own destination. By embracing independent discernment, you cultivate a sense of purpose and authenticity that resonates with your inner truth. Remember, as Hierocles also said, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. True wealth lies not in conforming to societal expectations, but in the deep satisfaction of living a life that aligns with your own values and discoveries. So, embark on this journey of self-discovery. Embrace the challenges of independent thought, the thrill of questioning, and the exhilarating freedom of carving your own path. Remember, the most fulfilling life is not the one lived in the shadow of the flock, but the one illuminated by the light of your own understanding and discernment. The Stoics remind us that true happiness lies not in following the crowd, but in daring to be different, to ask your own questions, and to write your own story on the map of your life. So spread your wings, navigate your own sky, and discover the unique beauty that awaits you beyond the flock. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of Stoic principles. Remember, life's journey is filled with twists and turns, but by embracing these powerful ideas, you can navigate it with resilience, wisdom, and inner peace. Remember, Stoicism is a lifelong journey, not a destination. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing into the best version of yourself. And as you do, remember the words of Hierocles, external things are not the problem, it's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now. Take control of your perspective and watch your life transform. Until next time, my friends, stay strong, stay wise, and stay true to yourself.